Hello all and welcome back to High Ridge Farm with me, the Walrus. We are engaging in the first weekend of the beautiful winter season here in Stardew Valley, which is absolutely glorious and beautiful by the way. And uh, I'm currently watering what little crops I actually have. Admittedly, I'm sure I could go and gather some more of the forageables to turn into more seeds to generate more, but um, that involves work and effort and I can't be bothered. Um, <laughs> I've got better things to do, which are mostly maintaining my glorious greenhouse, which is slowly going. And the great thing is, of course, I don't have to do anything other than harvest things in there, which is great. So, one of the things that I am going to do to... Ooh, hello, I've got a quest from the lava fi um, eels. That was a very camp way of doing it as well. Turning into um, Stephen Fry. I mean, that's not a bad thing. He is, that man is a national treasure. Absolute godsend, that boy. Right, so let's quickly grab the pine tar. I really need to organize these trees at some point and actually clear them out um, because, well, they're annoying. Um, and I want a bit more control over what's going on, I think. Okay, so I'm going to grab some of these. Now, one of the things I do need to do is just fling those in the... Oh, yes, doesn't really need the pint out. I've got enough of it anyway. Right, so I'm going to go and throw some fire quartz at the lava eels. I'm sure they'll enjoy that as they specifically, well, the one has specifically requested it. But I think that expands it. There we go. So I've now got a population of three. I think I've got another spare one in one of the chests. So I could fling that one in there as well to give me a, a bit more um, of a population boost. And the automated... F um, Essentially, barn itself is rather good so far. I really need another cheese uh, press. Um, but there we go. That looks fantastic inside. That's all lovely. And of course, because I've got the auto grabber, I don't have to worry about stuff. I'm going to save up and try and get another auto grabber. But I do also want to upgrade um, the coop before I put one in. As that will just make my life a bit easier. But at the same time, it, even putting it in first would be helpful because then I wouldn't have to worry about it. Mm, I don't know. Anyway, I get a couple of iridium quality eggs is quite nice. I'll definitely say that this early in the game. I said this early, it's been a year almost. Now, I do want to purchase a sheep, maybe two. Can't remember how much they cost, so let's find out. Uh, purchase animals, a sheep is 8,000, so I cannot afford two, I can afford the one, but as it grows and gives me the wool, I can slowly start making things with it. Well, cloth and blah, blah, blah. I think I might need to remove the space. There we go, McBarrington, the glorious sheep. Yeah, I'm so imaginative with silly names. Um, anyway, I'm going to head on over into town for a moment. And I'm going to go and visit myself a Crobus. However, I think I might not actually have enough money. Ooh, that's not good, is it? I should have thought of this. Uh, drat. Um, hmm. I have to sell some things to Pierre quickly, aren't I? Or to Clint. Either or. Somebody needs things thrown at them um, to sell. And... Uh, I'm going to need some money. Now, I'd also like to um, upgrade my trash can. So that's a thousand there. Um, oh, it. Oh, okay. I thought the trash can was instant. I wonder why I thought that. Hmm. Maybe I'm just misremembering things. Oh, well, right. Well, let's go into the caves. Let's see if we can murder some other things in here. Because that'll make me feel better about myself. <laughs> Well, also stone is helpful. And there's some grubs down there, and I need to kill ten more of them, I think. But we'll see. Uh, cave carrot, that's nice and helpful. Uh, nothing there. So that's two more dead bugs. Eight to go by the looks of things. Fantastic stuff. And some more stone, which I'm going to need, because I do definitely want to be able to make the, um, the next fish pond as that's another list of things that I do actually want to uh, complete. 
and will be quite helpful, I think. Now, going to just quickly, f there's the way down, that's what I was looking for. How much of a blasted thing that was. Okay, so, oh, okay, we've got lots of slimes and the secret notes, that's nice. Uh, what that secret note will be, who knows? But at least I'm murdering some slimes, because I think I need to kill a few more before I uh, have completed the next bit on Gil's kill list. Okay, so there's the way down, and off we trot. Um, okay, bunch of slime. It's one of those things that I d I've never really done anything with a slime hutch before. And I really should do this run. I think it's something I need to actually make and use. Um, it's mostly because I don't see the point in it. Maybe I'm missing something completely. And I think I need to actually make one to really look into it because I do think that I'm just not being clever, maybe? Perhaps? I'm not sure. It, it might sound really stupid, but it, maybe somebody else knows a bit more because I genuinely don't know. Oh well. Right. Now, uh, we'll head a bit further down into the mines. Ah! A nice selection of grubs. Wonderful stuff. So we've completed the grub challenge thing that has been set by Clint. That should give us some extra cash monies, if memory serves. And it'll give us the uh, geode smasher. Crusher. Thingy. Thingy for thingy inging. Mostly smashing up geodes so I don't have to travel into town because I'm lazy. Also, considering he's upgrading my trash can, which apparently takes three days, or a couple of days, two, three days, whatever, to physically upgrade a bin, I'm not entirely sure. Oh, okay, 6,000 G. Hell yes, that's glorious. So that means I should be able to afford the Iridium Sprinkler from Crovis. That makes my life so much easier. That's glorious. Huzzah. Well, that's going to be grand, I think. Now, what next, I think, is the next question, really, isn't it? Um, so let's head on down, and, well, we've pretty much got everything we need here, so I'm going to read that note as well, because I do need to. Um, and then go from there, I think. That's probably going to be the easiest and most sensible idea. Ah, well, so either way, we have things to do in here. Mostly involving coming down into this level of the mine and uh, murdering things. Because, well, why not? <laughs> anyway, so we're going to smash up a few more rocks. That's nothing too serious. But it is going to give me the capability of getting a bit more general resources, like the gold that will be useful. And, of course, it'll give me a little bit more fiber in here, which is, again, maybe not as useful as it could be. But I know I'm going to need more of it, as it always is the case. Oh, another secret note. Lovely stuff. And some more gold. And there's the way down. It's just remembering, like, the tasks at hand, like murdering more slimes. Like that red one there. We've only got to kill a couple more of them, I think. Once those are dead, then we're pretty much sorted. And it's extra money, I think, as well. Which will be useful. And get a bit more gold. I mean, I'm running out of energy today, which is... I mean, it's only 4pm, so that's quite a shock already. But then again, mining does take it out of you. Especially since I don't believe I actually have mining at level 10. So it is kind of uh, a bit more draining than uh, I would otherwise prefer. I guess, is probably one way of putting it. And I'm still... I mean, yeah, the gold pickaxe is the penultimate one, so... It's not like it's terrible. Now, off we trot. So I'm going to grab that quartz, and I'm going to stab this slime upside its little face, as well as the bat. Go away, little creatures. Be gone! Shoo! Shoo, I say. Okay, so two out of the four sludges. Ugh. Still need to kill two more. Not the end of the world. And not too difficult. So there's one there, at least. And there's another one. Fantastic. So we'll just stab this one repeatedly. Get some white algae, which I don't really care about. Also don't have the room for. Um, and I'll smash that rock and stab a slime. There we go. 
Fantastic. So that's 500G from Lewis. Um, I'm going to read these secret notes as well and eat that KO character just for a little bit of health and energy because, well, I've taken damage and actually being able to... Okay, that's kind of cool. The, it, the creature's about Junimos and... They're kind of sweet, the Junimos. Um, I have seen... Oh, 12 o'clock noon sharp, last day of the season. Okay, well, we've still got some time before that happens, so that should be interesting. I can't remember what some of the secret notes actually provide you, so it's remembering all of them is uh, a, a bit tricksy. One of the other things I do need to do uh, before the end of the season is, of course, catch the legendary fish of winter, which is... Um, well, I know exactly where it is, it's just a little bit tricksy. Um, but I think that's kind of a given, isn't it? Anyway, going through town, and we're going to go and find ourselves the cellar. Not the cellar, the sewer. I can do articulation, and I know words about different places. Goodness gracious. Anyway, Camelo Krobus, I have things, well, money to give you. Hello, I want that sprinkler because yes. Because why the heck would I not? I, re I don't think I've ever actually bought the return scepter from him either. Maybe that's something I need to really start working on. Is essentially just turn the entirety of the greenhouse into a star drop, uh, not star drop, um, star fruit manufacturing hub, and just grow their living hell out of them, and just use that as my primary money fund. Well, that shouldn't be too hard to do, I don't think. Now. We'll have a quick look and see whilst we're in here. So that's e Lewis easily met. At least most of the villages are easy to find in um, in here. At least um, it doesn't. It's not too difficult to find the locations of the villages in the evening. That is, it does make life a little easier. It's the young ones who are the hardest because they don't always end up in here. When I say the young ones, it's one of those things that like. It doesn't really seem to tell you how old everyone is. It, when I look at the characters, I look at them going, well, they all look about late teens and 19, maybe 20. And then you turn up and, again, miscellaneous, insert your own age here, but I'm in my 30s. So, other than, the sing other than maybe Harvey, I think he's probably the oldest of the singles because he's a doctor. So he's got to have spent some time be training to be a doctor, so that's what, at least here in the UK, that's a minimum of seven years post-secondary um, education, so he's got to be 25 before he's even become a doctor, like before he's graduated and become a doctor, and that even, and that, oh, goodness knows, actual not a clue. But oh well, that's just how it rolls. Okay, so I'm probably going to need a few more seeds, aren't I? Because um, the the new sprinkler I've got, um, which will provide another 24 air, uh, parts of um, f waterable land within the, um, the greenhouse, which will be useful. And then after that, I'm probably going to... I think there's a little bit more room, which you sort of have to lay them on the sides of the um, of the greenhouse, like on the little walkway bit to actually get a decent coverage, but we'll see. Right, so let's smash this up. Now, I mean, the cacti in here will be useful because they're going to generate food, uh, the fruits constantly, which is nice. Um, I kind of think that anything like that I should probably put in a pot and keep in that main house. Um, and any of the other we'll use the the stuff in here for more um rapid growth of new shiny things um i don't think uh, i'm not sure it, it's just a bit of a logistical nightmare i need to figure out what will be useful and more beneficial to me in uh, what sort of speeds and and stuff but that's, well, a different sort of thing. I also need to go back to the desert and buy a bunch more seeds. That's kind of a given, methinks. Um, and uh, that would be helpful, really. Uh, let's have a look. Um, well, 
Gonna make some more juices and wines, methinks. That's probably a good idea. Uh, let's see. Um, hmm. Okay, that's easy enough. Now, one of the things that I do remember, obviously, as I'm manufacturing large quantities of fertilizer, is that the obviously I haven't had it occur yet. Evelyn hasn't popped around and given me the uh, unlocked the ability to me for me to make the garden pot. One of the things that I vaguely remember is obviously you still have to water them, and they cannot be done by sprinklers. However, if you have the deluxe retaining soil, I have a feeling that you only ever need to water it once. So it'd be the sort of thing that would be fantastic for coffee and tea beans. Well, tea leaves and coffee beans, because the neither of them are really... You don't need them to be high quality. Because, especially with coffee, you need, you're need you just going to turn it into... Well, the coffee beans are going to be turned into coffee, aren't they? So you whap them in a keg. Easy peasy. Um, oh, I think I'm going to actively have to plant a bunch of sunflowers at the moment because I have a lack of seeds. Okay, I need more seeds to fit in here. This isn't good. Um, well, sunflowers are also useful. I can give them to... Uh, uh, what's her face? The blonde one. Haley. As I said in the last video, I'm so catastrophically bad with names, I have to work my way through an identifier before I can go, Oh yes, this person, that's the person I'm thinking about. Goodness gracious, I'm such a scatterbrained fool. It's great. Don't need a snow yam. And off we go. So I'm just going to put the wild plums and the bok choy in. I think that's everything that I can really do this today. Probably time to sleep. Not much else that can be going on tonight. Well, let's make ourselves some cash monies. There we go. So, yeah, a little bit over 5,500. I can deal with that. It's not much. But um, I think real cash is going to have to start rolling in soon enough. I'm going to need to make some more kegs, aren't I? And a, somewhere to store them. Um, I don't mind having them in the house, but I want to be more organised. And I think doing a shed in the vicinity of the greenhouse will be a very sensible idea. Uh, okay, Geode Crusher. Thank you very much, Clint. Okay, oh, another letter. Uh, ah, yes. <laughs> Deliver an amethyst to Emily. I do feel bad for Clint in this regard. Because it's just very much of a... Ah, oops. Two gold bars, 50 stone, and a diamond. Okay, well, I can definitely make one of them. I think I've got a couple of diamonds lying around. There we go. Some stone and gold bars. I think I should probably make more than one, shouldn't I? I mean, it wouldn't hurt, would it? Uh, there's another one. Fantastic. So I've got two of them now. So I'll slap them down. I know they need coal to actually process, but that's not the end of the world. It's just trying to figure out where I'm going to put this damn thing, actually. Let's put it here for now. I think it should go near the forges. I think that is a prudent place for it to live. Um, we'll pop the gold bars there. Get some of those. And then some coal. I can't remember if it's one or five coal. Oh, it's one coal. That's fantastic. That makes my life so much easier. Right, so I've got a bunch of uh, gold ore that I could smelt. And I've got some iron ore as well. Uh, do I want to start smelting stuff? Maybe. Yeah, let's do the iron because I've got 21 of it and that'll be... Or no, I could turn it into bombs. That's a much better idea. Because bombs are going to be way more helpful right now. So I need some of those, need some of those, and mega bombs, please. Especially if I do end up going into the Skull Cavern, um, or even the little cave near the quarry. Now I know that's going to be a little task for me later on in the weekend, I think, because I think that'll be a useful place to visit, because the Golden Scythe, I don't even know what it does, it's just gold. Um, which, you know, that's not a... It's <laughs> not a really good way of thinking. What on earth does the Golden Scythe actually do? I think it does something... I have a feeling that it means you get more grass. 
with a bigger radius. Um, like, it, it has a greater chance of getting hay. Whether it's... Oh, not a clue. Genuinely not a bloody clue. Useful stuff, though. And not too difficult to get. Anyway. Um, so, I'm going to quickly fill up the watering can while I'm in here. Everything looks hunky-dory. That's fantastic. I know that some of the beets that I planted will be coming up for harvest in the next couple of days, which is nice and good and lovely and all that jazz. Um, let's have a look. Um, we're going to grab these fish out of the fish traps. Um, I should probably put a few by the sea. Probably not a terrible idea, to be fair. How useful that is? Eh, not sure. We will see. Um, now, what next? That's going to be the next question. Well, I think if I can organize the cheese manufacturing over here. I say it every time I come in here. I always forget that I need more cheese presses. It's, uh, it's a curse. I'm an idiot, so kind of a given, unfortunately, on that one. Well, the sheep's in, which is nice, so that'll be helpful for later on. Um, let's have a look and see. Um, oh, I need to definitely redo the hay in here. Okay, so let's slap some of these eggs in here. And I also need, really, to upgrade this, but that's going to involve more money, which could be not an issue per se, but just a thing that I need to do <laughs> more than anything needs to happen and needs to occur as well it want to be so and uh, let's have a look so I'm going to close that one now close that one there having grown up near the countryside and a few quite a lot of farms as a child okay so that's why I need um, one of the things I always remember was like, I grew up with one of the kids in my class was actually a farmer's son. So visiting his farm was awesome, really fantastic, really cool as well actually. But I always remember the being taught from a young age about the responsible ways that one should behave in the countryside about closing gates and all of that jazz. So even though there's no actual need for me to do it, I still find it very important for me to do so. Oh, another artifact item. That's cool. It's quite helpful. I like it when that happens. Um, let's pop the fertilizer in there. Actually, I probably should put it somewhere else for that. Um, ooh, magma geodes, a couple of coal, and smash those up. An absolute treat. And now, um, seeing Emily shouldn't be too hard um, because she's nice and predictable. She works in the bar. Which is something that I've done many moon, like, before I say many moons, for a long time in my adult life. Is I, I find bar work very entertaining and really enjoyable. But then again, the antisocial hours is definitely part of the issue on that one, I'll say that. Um, you do have to be prepared for the fact that you are going to be going to bed at five in the morning, if you, especially if you work in the later opening bar industry like I used to. Um, nightclubs and such and um, yeah you get pretty tired out but you know it's entertaining it's enjoyable and uh, it's why I did it for as long as I did and uh, I restarted doing it again after the lockdowns and such because uh, I don't know about any of you guys out there but during the lockdowns it was very difficult for me to speak to people because um, I don't have housemates um, don't have a partner at the moment. So very much isolated. And it was very difficult. So face-to-face -face conversation, very much lacking. Speaking to people online and, you know, over Xbox and such was nice and all, but it's not the same. And um, that's something I definitely uh, struggled with. So actually um, having the ability to work behind a bar, talk to people, be silly and have a good laugh, Absolutely fantastic. Really helped me out a lot with my um, general. Uh, I don't want to say health, but it, it definitely helped me out, and uh, I can understand maybe why Emily works as a bar uh, barmaid, bar lady, bar tender. I mean, I've heard some interesting names for being a bar staff, 
um, from a number of different friends and colleagues over the years. Um, some of which I definitely couldn't say online um, because, my goodness, somebody would definitely get offended. Um, but yeah, anyway, that'll be another thing. But so I can totally understand why that she would do the bar work here. And actually, I can imagine that it'd be kind of interesting in a small, small village. But at the same time, though, it could be a bit dull with everybody being regular customers. Oh, Haley, come on. I've been throwing diamonds at you. You should know my name by now. Other than maybe I'm saved in her phone as Diamond Boy. <laughs> Who knows? There we go. It is interesting seeing the dynamic between those two. Because Haley does come across as a very spoiled brat. And Emily is obviously the one who's got her head screwed on. But I think, if memory serves, the more you create a relationship with Haley, like the, the better your friendship becomes, the more she actually t starts to appreciate and understand that the world isn't entirely her shallow image um, and everything's not quite as she seems or she sees now, again it was like, as I was saying earlier about the, the age of characters Penny sort of like I think her avatar like the little um, of that of her strikes me as somebody who's quite young like 17 or 18 her portrait picture presents her as somebody maybe 20 but I guess that's the thing, though, isn't it? It's the, the, the young age of protagonists is a thing, isn't it? Especially within Japanese games. Um, which always made me giggle, playing as Cloud Strife and um, Squall Lionheart and going, oh my goodness, they are... I mean, they're a bit older than I am when I was playing them, but um, yeah, they, they, they are very young. But then again, there's, it's just a trope within Japanese video games, isn't it, I guess? We're sending the kids out to save the world. We can't have adults doing it. That'd be ridiculous. Adults can't be trusted. <laughs> Maybe that's it. I don't know. Maybe the Japanese, they know all too well that adults are terrible and children are innocent and awesome. And, and uh, yeah, no. <laughs> Who knows? I genuinely don't. But then again, let's scar these kids with the knowledge of what they're going to encounter. Let's get them to kill God. <laughs> that always seems to happen. Having played lots of like the Final Fantasies all the way through. Anyway, before I start rambling too hard, I'm going to start exploring this cave here. Now, this is where the Golden Scythe is on a statue of a Reaper, which is a little bit intimidating, I would suggest. Um, that You know, the first idea, you look at a statue of the Grim Reaper and you see he's got a Golden Scythe and then you just grab it because, ooh, hello, big horrible skulls, go away. Um, and you decide to use it as a farming implement. I mean, that is what a scythe is, but... All the same. Okay, so there's a lot of monsters in here, isn't there? And they're quite tough. Okay, that's annoying. I might need an upgraded weapon for this. This could be a thing. Uh, no, no. Go away. Maybe I should come along with some bombs. That might not be a bad idea either. Because bombs are uh, an answer to uh, most of life problems in Stardew Valley. I do enjoy the fact that you can use a bomb to just uh, hoe land without actually having to really work on it. Just set some bombs off and it'll just clear a random selection of land. Ooh, those skulls are go gone. Shoo. Go away. Leave me alone. I don't even think that they actually count towards any of the um, weird and wonderful things that are on Gil's um... Oh, thingy me doodah. What's it called? Oh, I'll I'll figure it out eventually. Uh, the the quests that he gives you. There we go. I'm I'm so good at words. It's genuinely painful. I don't even know how. But how I manage it. <laughs> oh well. Anyway, right. So let's stab this little creature. Okay. So I'm looking pretty badly hurt. I I think if another skull comes flying at me, I'm going to be in a lot of trouble. I should probably get out of here. It's all looking a bit sketch. So I'm going to use the farm totem. Just get myself out of here quick. <laughs> That'll make my life a lot easier. 
Right. Now, okay, so I'm pretty badly battered. Um, now what? I think is the next question. What do I do now? I think current game plan is just organize things on the farm for a bit. Take it a little bit easy. Don't throw yourself into a horrible monster fight. And uh, everything should be okay. Don't really like the idea of just getting myself squished. But there we go. Let's uh, let's smelt some more copper because it's easy. I think it might not be a bad idea for me to use some of that copper to make another um, smelter. That probably wouldn't hurt. Um, really, in the grand scheme of things. Uh, but hey, it might be useful. Might be very helpful. More than anything. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, let's crush some more of those. Let's put some copper in the smelters. And okay, we've got another bit of amethyst where we can don't need two on us at the same time at the moment. Uh, now what? I guess that's the question, isn't it? And um, not too much for worry. Well, anyway. Now, uh, I think maybe back into town. Let's see if I can find out Emily. Ambush her with a shiny, shiny gemstone. Actually, thinking about it, might as well carry two am amethysts because it's also Abigail's favourite um, thingy of thingies. As you can tell, I'm so incredibly articulate, it hurts. <laughs> All the same. Right, and off we trot. Let's see what we get. Um... I'm going to head under to the beach a little bit. Maybe catch some stuff. Get a little bit of extra money. Because money is going to be a big issue at the moment. Because I do want to start upgrades on another... Well, on the coop. Really, that's going to be a major thing that needs upgrading. And once that's upgraded, then I can actually start getting rabbits. And the rabbits are wonderful. I do think rabbits are adorable anyway. Um, but I do need them. Uh, genuinely need them as that would be helpful, really. And let's have a look. Okay, well, there's uh, Emily. I do feel so bad for Clint in this cutscene, though. I say cutscene. Ah, oh, yeah, you got it, Clint. I don't care where you got it from. I'm going to give you a kiss. Okay. <laughs> Oops. Poor Clint. Oh, well. Hey, Pam, have a beer. You're not currently driving. Although, to be fair, I would give her a beer anyway. Not really sure what... I mean, I know I want to improve the relationships I have with every character. But, it's weird. Pam's definitely got a bit of a drinking problem. But Shane really has a drinking problem. And I am so reluctant to give his character alcohol. Even though it's a video game character, but I feel that... I would feel really bad and think it's a terrible thing to do were I to give Shane alcohol because it's just it's not on I don't think and you know I don't want to enable her that I want him to be better and feel better that's the important thing is you need help and assistance and be that from friends or family members, anyone who cares about you. If that's an issue, like Shane has, you need to, it needs to be helped. But, you know, depressing aside and uh, all that sort of joy. Um, now, I'm going to quickly have a look up here now. As one of the other things I do also need to do is to um, work my way back towards Robin's house and get some more stuff. Of course, we're a bit late to go and see her to look at the upgrades and potential of, um, I'm sure they aren't, um, to build that secondary fish pond that I desperately want. <sighs> However, I've got a lot of energy, just not much health. I always forget what Krober sells on Saturdays. I should probably check. Maybe it's something helpful. <laughs> Maybe. We'll see. Let's see. What have you, what have you got? Um, not really. Nothing of like major absurd use, I would suggest. 
nice and all, but eh. Oh well, that's just how it rolls. Now, one of the things that I also know that I do really want to start doing is start um, having um, making foods and drinks that also increase my speed because I do need um, to be able to move faster. And one of the things that I always remember is coffee, because that gives you a, a speed boost. Um, I think only for a short period of time, like a couple of minutes at most. Um, and the triple, stre triple shot espresso definitely gives it for longer. However, there are a few foods I remember, and one of the things that I did... I can't remember if you can stack food and drink, or if you can only stack um, one of the two. Well, either way, Trixie. I'll have to have a look. Not the end of the world. Now. Uh, let me have a look, see. What other things do I need to grab? Well, let's grab that quartz. Um, that'll be useful because um, later on, I will need quartz to make uh, the garden pots. That's one of the few ingredients I remember. It's clay and quartz, I think. It may even be stone as well. Right, now I'm going to cut down these maple trees because I'm going to replace them with... Um, what are they called? Pine trees. <laughs> Look at that. I'm so good at words and remembering what sort of trees I actually want. So I want to have pine trees here. Um, so I'll have four pine trees, collection of maybe six to eight maples on the other side, and then I'll have the oak resin ones. Uh, maybe I'll put them to the south. But I, I need them all the same. That's an important thing. I also really should put some walkways around here because that way I'll move quicker, I think. And also I don't have to worry about all these blasted small trees growing and cropping up and getting in the damn way because it's really frustrating when they're coming up and they're not in an orderly fashion and I want it all ordered and neat which is rich coming from me because I'm a disordered messy sod anyway it's one of those I'll, I'll leave something and ah it's fine that's ah, fine it'll be okay and then I uh, it'll come to a point where I go yeah my house is a state oh no and when I complain about it being a state, it's not that I've left like bowls and plates everywhere. It's the, I haven't folded my laundry and put it away. It's that sort of thing, which is very, very small level pedantic, but I'm also really bad at doing the hoovering. I used to have a Roomba, but um, yeah, <laughs> I should probably get another one. It died. It died a death, shall we say. Right, so let's make some crystal floors. Yeah. Probably I'm going to need to start making some more refined quartz, actually, thinking about it. Because I am going to need a lot of refined quartz. Oh, is there something there? There is. That's really annoying. Okay, so I'm going to put some of these pine trees down. I could probably put a third one there, actually, thinking about it. But I'll do those four for now. And I'm going to put a walkway in here. Oh, there's another thing in the bloody way. Go away. And then I'm going to circle each tree like this, because that way I won't have random trees growing and being annoying. Go away. Like that. Exactly like that. Whereas I can now just quickly slap this on, give it a nice perimeter, and keeps the trees organized. Yes. <laughs> It's also getting very late, so I'm going to go to bed very quickly because uh, I don't really want to pass out on the farm because that's annoying. And I don't like being billed by Joja Mart for the fact that they came onto my farm and picked me up and put me in my own bed, which just seems creepy. Ugh. Weird. Right, okay, so we've got some... Ah, oh, my copper trash can's ready, and we've got some peeled amaranth ready to harvest. Well, to sell, actually, more to the point. Um, right, what are we going to crack in the, um, the preserve things, actually? Well, let's, put some, let's, make, let's make some blackberry jam. That'd be nice. Um, and what else? Uh, eeny, meeny, miny. 
don't really have much to make wine out of either. That's the worst part. I know I need more of these kegs, but it would help if I had more stuff. Plum pudding. Okay. I guess that's nice and all. Um, it's going to be... Oh, it's the Festival of Ice tomorrow. Oh my goodness, I totally forgot about that being a thing. And Evelyn has decided to give us a visit. Wonderful stuff. So she's going to be lovely and teach us how to make uh, the garden pots, which will allow us to grow crops indoors, outdoors, all sorts. But it's nice. And it is... I wonder if it's a little bit of a stereotype, like an old lady who really enjoys gardening. Um, she, it kind of reminds me of my own grandmother. Um, she was always a fond gardener. And uh, <laughs> she accidentally grew something she probably shouldn't have done at one point. Um, she ended up getting some bird seed that had some um, marijuana seeds in it. And uh, yeah, so she ended up growing hemp. I say marijuana seeds, hemp seed to be more specific. But she ended up with like an eight, nine foot high hemp plant in her back garden, which was very funny. Um, and of course, like it's not really my main area of expertise, I will certainly say. So when my grandmother calls up all of her, her grandchildren, all five of us rack up at her house and she's just giggling away like little children. Going, Grandma, what have you done? <laughs> You've grown a massive pot plant. And, and then she realises that what's going on and then she goes... I thought it looked a bit funny. <laughs> uh, that was many years ago. Grandad also turned around and said, maybe I should just burn it. We're like, no, Grandad, we don't know if that's a good idea either. <laughs> uh, it's a, a silly fun memory. But then again, it's one of the reasons why I... I'm, I know I've got a black thumb and I do kill a lot of plants. I'm not very good with them. But I try. Um, and I try growing plants that she grew in her garden. You know, everyone's got their own little way of having a little living memory. And it's always nice. Okay, so I'm going to crack open some more of these geodes. Oh, I'm going to run out of coal soon. I'm going to need more of that. Uh -uh. That ain't good. Um, right. So let's put these geodes away, at least for now. So I don't need them right now. Um, hmm. So I've got a lot of maple seeds, actually. Unsurprisingly enough. Considering I just chopped down a bunch of maple misfits. Um, let's burn some logs. That's not going to hurt. Well, not going to hurt me at least. Um, hmm. Well, I'm going to sell the tiger's eye, I think, because I don't think that's particularly helpful. Actually, I could probably put the tappers in here as well. And we'll pop them away. Now, the trouble is, I'm going to put myself this garden pot down here. And I'm going to put this in here, and water it, and coffee. Now, after I've done that, I've just realized exactly what I said earlier about the fact that if I put a quality retaining soil, I never need to water it again. And it doesn't really matter the quality of the damn coffee beans. Oh, I'm such a moron. Oh, I'm going to have to do that again. Well, not the end of the world. I will live. I've made a mistake. Um, definitely not the first time. Oh, well. Like I say, I'll live. So I'm going to do that at some point. I will make some more of them and I will do things and thingies and stuff. <laughs> Anywho. So, next thing we're going to have to do is... Put some quartz in the sm... Uh, not the smelter. Yeah, the smelter's the forge. Because I need more refined quartz, otherwise I can't make more garden pots because it's helpful and I need more of them now one of the other things I do need to do is just check and see if anything's already in here it doesn't look like it so that's fair enough for now um, yeah I need to get what a couple more iridium sprinklers and then I can actually end up with a quite a nice selection there which would be lovely wonderful stuff now, one of the things I've never actually done is, um, because I've not really explored some of the stuff that appears in Ginger Island, I know that there's a fertilizer attachment for the quality sprinkler. I've never really looked into it, but it might actually be one of those things that's absurdly useful. I don't really know how it works. I should probably... Again, I'm avoiding the wiki, because I'm trying to at least. But I probably should have a look. 
but we'll see. Now, let's see. So obviously the sheep isn't old enough to generate any wool yet, but I can deal with that. It's not the end of the world. Um, I definitely need, oh, grab too much hay there. Let's grab that again. I still need to get this upgraded. I definitely don't have enough. I think I need 20K for that. I do not have 20K. I've got 9,000, which just is not enough. Um, so I'm just gonna slam those in there. And off we trot. So what other things can we do? Ooh, a magma geode. That's kind of cool. I always forget that you get random stuff in your little um, mini quarry area. Kind of helpful, really. But uh, that's just how it rolls. I just need more resources and more shiny things. I think that's just going to how it boils down. Um, what I am probably going to do is build an, maybe the slime hutch on the left-hand side near the pond. Um, I mean, I'm not going to let them get out. That That would be dumb. I <laughs> uh, don't really want that to happen, thank you very much. But I'm not entirely sure what other things I should do. But, hey, that's just me. I'm, I'm not entirely sure. Okay, so we've cracked open those two. So petrified slime, fine. I think that's a, a very boring one. That doesn't matter too much. Um, yeah, I've already done that one. So I can sell that straight away. That's not the end of the world. Uh, I still need more coal, don't I? I'll live. Okay, so I've got enough, I think, to do the um, the other fish pond. I think I might have some more algae. The question is, why have I got algae in the fridge? Algae slimy and horrible. Blech. But. I need one more, so I'm just going to have to go and catch some quickly. Um, not too difficult to do, I don't think. I, I think you can get it quite easily from most of the rivers. Um, so, into town we go. Going to cast out and try and get ourselves some algae. Otherwise, I'm just having a quick study of what things do I actually have in the fridge. I mean, some of it could be useful. I mean, it could be. Some It is useful, it's just what do I want from it and where do I need to use it, etc, etc. Because, you know, that's how this nonsense works. Uh, don't need petrified slime. And off we go. So it's nice that I've got the the trees ready to grow. Um, well, sort of ready outside the, uh, the farm. And the greenhouse, they're still going to be growing. I seem to kill a ghost, all right. That shouldn't be too difficult. I think ghosts are... Brrr, they're in the dark bit. I can't remember what floor that is. I really need to remember. Well, I've got myself the ever-illustrious... Um, algae. Woo. So that's one more down. Don't need any more of that. Thank you. Uh, and where next? You, donate museum, please. Here is a tiger's eye. It is yellow and orangey. Woo! And no rewards for me, thank you very much. Fine, be like that. Uh, an acorn, lovely stuff, just what I real needed. Um, and nothing else there. So, let's go and pick up the trash can. It's now copper. Woo! It's, yay! That's a bit rude. I see how it is, Clint. Don't want to talk to me. Fine. Be like that, you miserable old sod. I'm going into the mines, and I'm going to use that as a shortcut, because I can. <laughs> I am offended by his curt rudeness. He does not deserve my sympathy. I mean, he did attempt to try and give Emily a gift, but, you know, it would have been better if he'd given it to her. But I can't say much. I'm terribly, terribly terrible when it comes to talking to people that I am attracted to, so <laughs> I can't say much. Uh, so let's build ourselves a one more fish pond. There we go. This is 5,000G. And I'm going to build it next to the other one because I think that is a sensible idea. There we go. Lovely stuff. 
Cool, and she'll start work on that not tomorrow, the day after, because of the ice festival. Now, if memory serves as a fishing thing in the ice festival, so this could go well, or could go terribly wrong. One of the two, I'm sure. Now, I'm going to go and stab a ghost, which again is an interesting concept, um, because I've got a sword made of obsidian. Which again is an interesting thing, because like the... Oh, there's a ghost, that's real easy, thank you. Because, of course, the ancient Aztecs and their... I don't even know how to pronounce it. The the metal hood tool? Was that? I, I don't know. Um, I, unfortunately, have no linguistic capability over Mesoamerican language. Um, but that thing's just studded with obsidian. Very dangerous, dangerous weapon. But trying to make an entire sword out of it? That would be quite difficult. Very challenging, in fact, I think. Cool as hell, though. Volcanic glass. It's a very sharp, very interesting material. You know, small things, small minds. I'm well aware, don't worry. I, I'm very easily fascinated by little things like that. It's just how I roll. Anyway, so I'm going to deposit the... the some of the... <laughs> five bits of stone. Wow. I knew I didn't have much, but flipping heck. That's not good. Uh, okay, so can I make some more fertilizer? Yes, yes I can. And uh, into the box that goes. So, we've got some more sap, and we've got some stuff, we've got some things. I'm gonna do some coloring in. Uh, and I'm gonna grab some more of those very illustrious bombs that I've managed to acquire. I say acquire, I made them. Because bombs, they're glorious. Excellent stuff. Now, um, so there's going to be the super cucumber pond. So that's going to be nice and easy. I've got a logical plan for that, believe me. Don't worry. It, it, there, there is method to the madness. Allegedly. And my next current task is I'm going to go and try and see... Excuse me, hiccups. I'm going to try and see if I can catch myself the um, ice pit fish thing. Um, I mean, you haven't really gone much, have you? Rubbish. I was really hoping she'd have a pomegranate. That would have been nice. Or a red cabbage. The red cabbage would have been really ideal. But here we go. So the little arrowhead island, this one, is where you can catch the ice pip. And you have to stand on this little bit here. So let's see. Not the ice pip, the glacier fish. Because the ice pip is caught in the mines. And I've caught one of those before. Um, now... This little git is an absolute swine to catch, though. So, let's see. Oh, good grief. There he is. Exemplifying the exact statement I just made. Good grief. No. St stop it. No. Bad fish. Naughty fish. No. no. Come back here. Get on the line. No. Damn. Okay, that's annoying. Um, I do really want to catch it, shockingly enough. Um, and I will. Just you watch. Just you watch and wait. I will catch this dratted fish. However, <laughs> it's very annoying. Oh, there he is again. Come on. He's, he's coming out just to annoy me at this point, I think. Right, screw it. I need to make some different bobbers. I think I need to try getting the uh, the barbed hook, which uh, works best on slow weak fish. That increases bite rate. That's what I've currently got on. I think I need the other ones, the trap bobber, slower escape, and maybe even the cork one, which increases the size of your fishing bar. I can't remember how much larger it is, but if memory serves, it's large enough. Any extra assistance on catching it is going to be handy. Now, of course, quickly moving on over to the cavity bits um, to try and fight my way through. Very important stuff. Also, I need stone, so I'm not upset about this exploration. Now, oh look, there's a huge collection of rock. Conveniently, I've got a bunch of bombs. By the power of lazy. Bang. Fantastic. I do enjoy being so lazy. It's 
Glorious. So helpful. And I think generating more bombs will be very useful for my uh, progression down into Skull Can Cavern. Um, canyon, I nearly said. I think. Is that a place in The Legend of Zelda? Might be. Not sure. I'm sure somebody will tell me. Anyway, off we trot. So I need to explore a little bit more along here. Now, one of the things I do also want to do is start making videos that are a little bit more silly. Because, of course, this one is my sensible Let's Play. Allowing people to enjoy the background noise of my voice. You know, it's quite calming. I'm aware of that fact. I'm well aware that my voice has a certain power in some ways. In that um, I appeal to the Radio 4 audience. <laughs> Which is, because I've done some work in the past for the BBC doing adverts. Um, and yes, Radio 4 <laughs> is where I ended up. Um, because I have a very, very relaxing voice which suits quite nicely which is lovely however um i'm quite an excitable lunatic so <laughs> i don't know how well that's going to work but my my aim as well is because I've, I've started this as a main project just to do something different and interesting and i would very much like to do some more silly ones where i actually talk about some of the funnier things that one can do in stargy valley like the the hilarious interactions with mayor lewis's underpants um and where you can use it at, or the um, the locations of certain sneaky little secrety bits, because I have no qualms about using um, an alternative um, character to do that. The walrus is going to stay my like sensible. Um, I mean, this particular part of the walrus plater is going to be my sensible one. But one of the things that I do need to do is I've never done before is actually make a title card. Um, I think that that would be a, a prudent thing to do. Unfortunately, my artistic talents are somewhat limited, shall we say. I'm very good at painting miniatures. I could certainly do that. But, um, yeah. I'm not great at, at doing stuff with Photoshop or whatnot. But that's, that's going to be a challenge for a later date. Um, but we'll soon see, at least. Righty, we're actually coming up to almost midnight now, so that's not good. Now, um, what I managed to do there was, like an absolute moron, delete a bunch of the footage. Um, essentially, what I need to do is learn how to use this program that I'm using to make my videos a little bit better. That would be sensible. But I never said I was particularly sensible, did I? Anyway, let's head back to the farm, get ready for bed, and be prepared for the next day. So, one of the things I will say is uh, thank you again for watching very quickly. And please do, if you have enjoyed watching me do mad, silly things, please do like and subscribe, share with your friends. Or others of those who you think might enjoy listening to a random Englishman playing Stardew Valley, talking about random pointless nonsense. To run as a useful background thing, I don't know. But as long as people enjoy what I'm doing, that's kind of all that I, that I care about, is that, you know, you get something out of it. So, it's getting to 1am, it's getting very late on High Ridge Farm, and it's time for the walrus to go to bed. So... Hopefully I will catch you all on the next episode of the Walrus Play, Stargy Valley. And thank you again.